what an incredible game of rugby. Where to start with that one? But you came out with the five points you wanted. Yeah, obviously the five points are the crucial thing, ultimately. Um, you know, ultimately, I, I can't say the performance was the important thing from today because the first half was one type of performance and the second half was a completely separate type of performance, wasn't it? Um, you know, firstly, you've got to congratulate Northampton and obviously Northampton's crowd. I thought it was a great atmosphere here today. Even with a limited crowd, there was a great atmosphere here today. And that's what's almost more important in a way than anything else, getting rugby back on that, that positive curve, so to speak. But for myself, I think we definitely didn't turn up ready to fight, did we? And that, that, was, that was pretty clear. Um, there was things in our game that were noticeably poor around, around collisions and clear outs and, you know, and just, just some of the real focus around the ball. Um, but we managed to get ourselves back on track second half. You know, we managed to, managed to decide to get out there and fight. And it, let's face it, we're a good team. We're not, we're not second in the Premiership for no reason. You know, we're there because we're a good side. And you've got to just make sure you reset the plan, follow the plan, but you've got to follow it hard and physical. And kind of in the first half, I don't think we really did anything to plan. And I think that'll be the thing that the lads will have to push themselves about. Because pretty much in the first scrum of the game, we went off plan. You know, we win a free kick and we don't play. We decide to slow everything down and scrummage again. But why? You know, we could have got on with things. The game could have moved away from that scrum and we could have been up and playing. We had territory there, but no, we, we scrum and we give up a penalty. We give up territory and all of a sudden we're on the back foot just by doing what we would, don't want to do. And so those are the things that we'll talk about. Those are the things we need to address quickly. We'll say a little bit in the first half with maybe one eye on next week's game and not really focusing on this week. I'd, I'd like to say I know exactly what happened, but I can understand why that might be the case. At the end of the day, we're in the semi-finals. We know there's a game coming against Sale next week. Regardless of today's result, we have to get something out of that game to get home semi-final. So whatever happens, we have to turn up next week. The players will know that, and it could easily have been in the back of their minds that regardless of today, we had a huge game next week. That, that can sometimes work like that, but, but often you've got to free yourself up from those kind of limitations and let yourself play, and eventually we managed to do that today. The opening 10 minutes of the second half, you did everything you hadn't done in the, in the whole of the first half. Well, it was interesting because even at, even at 18 points, the last thing I said as I left the change room was, well, come on, I've two scores, and this game's pretty much back to even pegging, and what will be will be then. And we managed to do that bit really well. We then, we then kind of lost away for 10 minutes again, didn't we? We got ourselves right back on track, and then didn't really drive through that intensity for 10 minutes. Um, but fortunately, we managed to wrestle it back, and, and we've done just enough to win a game and be played for the five points. I mean, from, uh, for a neutral, it was an incredible game of rugby. For a coach, it was an horrendous game of rugby. Um, but I think, I think we've, um, we've come through with what we needed. We've got, the, we've got the turnaround now to get ourselves ready for sale. And, you know, it, we've had a nice little kick up the pants at just the right time. The bench brought a lot to the game, didn't they, in the second half? Well, I think what happens, I think, I think we turned the corner momentum-wise by then. And what the bench allowed us to do was maintain that momentum against a, a Northampton team that worked really, really hard. And I think that's just what happened. It just, it just allowed us to continue some pressure. Sam Simmons' ankle problem again. <coughs> well, we haven't really had the chance to assess it properly yet. I mean, he rolled it a couple of weeks ago. At this stage, we don't think it's too bad. I mean, I'll be honest with you, we changed him quickly without assessing him because we wanted to keep the momentum in the game. We didn't want him on there being assessed for three or four minutes while Northampton had a breather. We just wanted to get on with it, keep the momentum in the game. And ultimately, it proved to be the right decision because Cap has had a good impact. Simple equation now, next week, you just need a point to guarantee a home semi-final. So yeah, you I know mean, what to do. The reality is that was the important thing for us today. You know, we're now in the box seat. Sale have got to, they've got to come and get everything out of the game and deny us anything. Um, I'm not saying they're not capable of that, but and particularly if we turn up what we did in the first half, that could be a tough ask for us. Um, but that's why I, don't, I seriously don't expect us to turn up like we did today for another game this season. Um, it was probably why we had the three that we did in the first half. Is the short turnaround a little bit of a concern when they've had extra rest for that? It's always a concern. You can always overthink about it and over talk about it. The reality is, I would think we've got quite a lot of guys who played today who are actually just looking forward to getting to the next game of rugby. Congratulations.